has a friend. Your mom has a friend. <laughs> On video. And she has a son, okay? <laughs> so, okay, your mom's friend has a son. She just got a flower at the airport from a random boy. No, no, it's for my vlog. She's being courted by a strange male from another family. But I'm going to see the firework with you. You know that, right? But we're going to see the firework. Yeah, of course. You're going to see him? No, I don't want to see him. Did you like him? Did you like him? No. Oh, she didn't like him. What's up guys? I'm in St. Petersburg, Russia, and I'm so excited. This is my first time in this destination. It's a really, really popular destination to get, and I got it at an awesome time. Today is June 12th, 2019, and I think it's like a two or three week period that's called White Night or the Midnight Sun. So uh, basically it's almost 10 o'clock right now and I'm gonna show you guys the outside because it's still so bright. Uh, this is a period of time in the summer when basically the sun doesn't set. I think it's gonna get a little bit dark, probably around um, when sunrise usually would be, like dusk or dawn, sorry, not dusk. Dusk is when the sun is setting. <laughs> so I think it gets a little bit uh, dark around dawn, but that's really the only time. So this is a great time to go out. Uh, and apparently there's fireworks tonight. I don't know why, maybe a celebration or usually that's what it's for or like a anniversary or something important. So I want to show you guys this room though, because I just feel like this is classic, uh, classic Russia. When I think of Russia, this is very like old European color scheme and style. So, yeah, very interesting. But I'm stoked to be here. I would have never probably ever come to Russia in my life if it wasn't for Emirates. Uh, never would have been on my, my travel list. So, you know, these are the times that it's really awesome that you get to experience something that you probably never would have if you never had this job. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see the outside, white lights. Check it out, that is picturesque. Like the sunset is beautiful and it's gonna stay this bright. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. It's crazy. Really cool. Check out this room. <laughs> this color scheme and everything. It's very, uh, very dated. So windy right now, I'm crying. Who do we got? Mariana, Manuel, Ambrose. Nobody wants to be in the vlog. So uh, it's like almost 10 o'clock here. No, 11 o'clock. It's almost 11 o'clock in St. Petersburg and it's so bright outside. I think it's awesome. Look at this sunset behind me. I'm trying to see it there, yeah. The sky is so pink and beautiful. Wow, look at that. I mean, I have never seen something like that in my life. This is definitely when you take a moment, you have to be grateful. I would have never come to Russia, ever in my life. I don't think it would have ever been on a destination, and I'm so excited that I got to come here. Uh, so this is definitely one of those times that you're hashtag grateful. I'm not gonna be able to film too much tonight because I'm literally crying. It's quite chilly and the wind is very strong, but we're gonna go check out some fireworks. I'll get a shot of that tomorrow. We're going to check out some cathedrals, and I think a palace. <laughs> And I gotta stop right now because I'm so emotional. <laughs> What are these fireworks celebrating, Mariana? <laughs> I have no idea, but people say that it's uh, like a Russian day. So it's simple. It's the Russian day, people. Yeah. You better come Russian join. Day. If Russian you don't day. come, you're it's missing every out. Every day. Day, Russian day is every day. <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Look at the beautiful flowers. People are here for the flowers. Sugar mama. They're buying hot dogs. 
I don't know what the appeal is with hot dogs everywhere, but there's so many people here. I think it's gonna be like Russia Day or some celebration. So everyone is lining up to see these fireworks. The sky is beautiful. I'm gonna put the camera. On. This bright at 11, but it's not really it's that cold, bright. It's cold, man. Just, <laughs> just cold. Don't believe that video. It's like freaking cold right now. It is cold. I call it. It's chilly. Chilly AF. Least expected. We thought it's gonna be 20 something. It's like 10 degrees now. Just look at me. What do you think? All we have to do is go back to Dubai. You get your heat there. Oh man, Dubai is, is a, freaking is a hot. Vacation. Dubai was like 43 <laughs> degrees earlier on today. It's just too extreme, yeah, man. So <laughs> She got a flower from an admirer <laughs> oh, at yeah. the airport, no, and here she is. How, so if you ever you see this YouTube about video, <laughs> you're called out. <laughs> no, you. Emirates cabin crew that refuses the flowers. Do you, do you like the gesture? Okay, it's a nice it's gesture. It's it's it. She got a flower from an admirer at the airport. It's a nice gesture. He drove all the way to give her this flower, but she's not interested, and that's her right to be not interested. <laughs> What but can you do? But no, he's not taking the hint. 10,000 people this time, so rude, my god. No, no. Did he earn at least I said one it's your point. right. <laughs> one point. No, he got more. Come on. One point, one point is too low. <laughs> I'm sure you ain't like. It's a good gesture. But if he's yeah, like not six interested, out he needs to take a hint. That's all. We're done talking about her love about life now. Like, yeah. We thought it could never happen, and now it happened. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, you're like, this is life lessons about love. Okay, okay, so like that means you don't like the guy. But not like from the random people that you have no idea, like what the hell. You just came and like, what is this question? No. I'm gonna hash recording. I'm gonna hashtag this life love lessons <laughs> by Emirates Cabin Crew. I, I wasn't filming up. most of it, but he was spouting some so, good so stuff. Like surprise, Romanticism right? is okay. dead. This guy was very chivalrous. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <laughs> I've gotta summarize it now. <laughs> All right, something's happening. I don't quite know what is happening, but some boat with huge red sails have come in. Maybe that's where they're shooting the fireworks off. That's really hard to do, actually, look at the camera at that point. You see it? Guys, it's so cold, we might bail, honestly. It's like actually freezing and none of us brought proper clothes. If we had some clothes, it would be bearable, but especially by the water, this wind chill is insane. I don't know what happened. There was no official announcement, but now you can see it's cleared out. Everybody is leaving and there has been no fireworks. So I think a lot of people are disappointed. Uh, I don't know if something went wrong with the planning or exactly what, but we came here, we waited in the cold and we got no fireworks. She, it. she, she said uh, there was a firework, nothing happened. It's her fault. The bad energy. No, really, I'm very interested. I've never seen so many people come out for an event and nothing happens. Literally, I think packed. everyone is disappointed. Everyone is disappointed. Ambrose, you disappointed? Yes! Oh, you can see I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> So packed here. I think we definitely came when the tour groups just arrived. Everyone is lining up to take pictures by all of this magnificent gold. <laughs> I'm just getting used to this tripod thing. It's pretty cool.
crazy. It's so beautiful. Oh, we got some buns of steel here. Buns of steel. <laughs> Double buns of steel. Actually, that would be quadruple, huh? Four. Four buns. Look at that fountain, look at that fountain, that's crazy. <laughs> We're talking about wearing the Emirates uniform, just bits and pieces, like somebody. <laughs> She's wearing my sweater now so I can put her on the camera. Sometimes it happens, you forget things and you have to wear bits and pieces, but the, it does not follow our image uniform. No. So, and, it's and also you cannot put it on social media. Thing in the world. So what did you do? So I, I was in New York and I had to go out, obviously I had to go out in New York, and then I opened my suitcase, no shoes. No like, shoes, like heels, no, nothing? Nothing, no shoes, not even slippers. If I had slippers, I would have worn them. <laughs> but, um, so no shoes, so I had to wear the ugliest granny heels. The shoes that we have to wear for work. These outside. are the red shoes that they wear with the uniform. So Did it match the outfit? Of course. Oh, no, no. It matches no outfit possible. It <laughs> <laughs> can't match anything. And I was Where did you go? A bar? No, I didn't. I had to go to buy shoes. Oh, just to buy, oh, just to buy the shoes. I can't. There's no way you can wear it for the whole layover. So I went to Urban Outfitters. But the walk there, I was mortified. But like, you know, the thing is, like, it's New York, and people wear the weirdest No, 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 but, like, stuff. I just thought everyone was crew. So, like, if anyone would look at my shoes, I was like, oh, crap. They'd know, they think I'm so cheap, and I don't want to buy shoes. <laughs> and I, I love What them. are we walking in? These bugs. <laughs> They're so, you're so cheap. Like, I have, I can only wear my Emirates shoes on exactly. layovers. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I love the brand so much that... I just want to wear Emirates everything. Once I saw someone wear the handbag in Dubai, in spinning, like, so there can never be a situation where you need to take your Emirates handbag with you. You just take out your purse and then you go. She I wore it. I love this story. Like, in Dubai, in spinning, like, chill it. You just take your credit card and put it exactly. in your bra. You don't need anything. Wow. You just put it in your so a father. Hashtag I image in uniform. All right, we got our museum shoes on. We got our museum shoes on. We're ready for the treasury. See some diamonds. This is crazy, there is so much gold. This room is extravagant. Extravagantly exquisite. says it. Abby, if you watching? Too many people in that museum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
So what's the conclusion of the boy with the rose? <laughs> what is the final story? We are now ending this love fairy tale. We are waiting the whole day for that. No, um, no story. Nothing. The end.